It's two o'clock on the afternoon of day three. Uh, day two was was much better than it was last time. Last time I uh, did a video saying, actually no, I didn't make a video. That was the point of how day two was so difficult. I was grumpy and after everyone it seemed, everyone in my surrounding got my full on grumpiness. And uh, today, uh, or yesterday, was much different. But thinking of it, I didn't do a video yesterday. I didn't even go live. Uh, I don't think I even recorded anything. Um, it's just, it's the transition between your body using uh, the food that you give it to it using its fats and stored up energies. And somehow the transition can be a little mentally disturbing at a minimum. Uh, but it wasn't so bad. In fact, it was interesting. I had people come over, friends, and uh, they chatted with me for a long time and very deep conversations or, or interesting and challenging uh, conversations rather than deep necessarily. And uh, for some of the conversations, my brain was just not there. And then for some reason, my brain was fully there in some other aspects. It seems that when I water fast, and it's one of the... Um, I don't know, for me it's a really big highlights is my perception of the world changes. But there's nothing really hyper new to record. I think my first water fast touched a lot of things. And plus I found a lot of text that pertains to uh, water fasting. There's one site that I haven't finished uh, completely perusing. It's, uh, was it Raw Food Now or Raw Food Something? It's an amazing site that has a whole section on how to come out of a fast which I hadn't found two years ago. Um, so it talks about the different views of getting out of a fast, not just one way, but what other people have applied. Uh, someone emailed me this morning with the question, how much water should she drink? Um, I've never really known. I, I've read and there's, you know, this and that. I tend to just constantly sip. Uh, I know that's uh, a nurse that I had spoken to, uh, hi Amanda, had uh, spoken about water intoxication, that you can drink too much water. So I tend not to chug too much water. Uh, you know, I sip it, sip it, sip it, uh, maybe more often than I, uh, I would want. I don't know if that makes sense. There's a lag time between when you do feel thirsty and when you're dehydrated from what I'm told, but it's, you feel it a lot more when you fast. So you just keep sipping and sometimes you'll drink more water in a day, sometimes less. The last night I slept in late and when I got up, I don't think I drank water for a while. I probably should even drink water you know, if I get up in the middle of the night to go to the washroom. I figure it's good to keep it all flushed. So I was inspired to come outside because, um, well, I wanted to rest and have a nap. But uh, when I saw it was raining, um, I thought this was a nice thing to share.